Good morning. Welcome back to my channel and to another day in my life as a newborn mom. Um, we're five weeks today. When this goes up, it'll be a little past five weeks. Uh, five weeks today, and I am three weeks, four weeks post uh, partum but cardiomyopathy. So I am living with uh, that and I am doing okay and I figured I would take you along on my day and see how we do. So it's 7 a.m. right now. We had the luxury of having a nurse stay overnight uh, to watch Annie. This is something we weren't planning on having uh, when we first had her, but because of me being in the hospital and me needing to recover our family, um, She's moving. She's moving. We want her to sleep. Our family contributed and is giving us some night nursing um, throughout the next month. So it was been a real luxury. I got to sleep. This is now a baby ASMR. Um, a mom ASMR. Um, I got to sleep. So I'm up now. I'm going to try to have some breakfast. I took Courtney out. By the way, the first thing that I do in the morning, if um, she's asleep, is I have to take my oxygen, check my heart rate, take my blood pressure, and weigh myself, which is quite a production to do in the morning, but so far, my stats have been very consistent, so this is good news. I go back to the cardiologist later this week, so fingers crossed, I'll try to take you guys there with me. Also, if you hear the sound machine. Literally two minutes later, she's up. She's up. Damn. The beast has awakened. Okay, she's back down. Just enough time for me to take my medication. Um, I will leave the link to this um, pill box down below. It's a big pill, like weekly pill thing. But I found that it holds a lot of pills. So if you're in need, even just for the supplements, it's pretty good. So in the morning, I take a potassium pill. That is huge because um, I'm taking a pill that like helps me get my all the like fluid out of my body. And when you do that, when you're like continuously peeing it all out and flushing it all out, you lose a lot of potassium. So I have to take these big horse pill, potassium pills twice a day. And I have to take this little pill. This is one of the pills that's like, um, helps me flush out whatever's in there, um, retaining any sort of fluid, which was the issue. My heart wasn't able to like pump out all the fluid. So this guy, forget what he's called. Some long, complicated name. Okay, she's back up again. Time to shush. All right, folks. We made it through the morning cries and stirs. We have moved on to a walk. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Everyone's been waiting to see you. How, are, I you, am. how are you doing? Here's what's left of me. <laughs> uh, every cliche is true times 10. Everything they say is gonna happen happens and it's worse than you think. But look at her. Look well, at her. she's a... Uh, in the stroller now, she seems to really like when we go for walks. So if she gets fussy, I usually like to either strap her on or now finally, here, let me show you the stroller. Here's the stroller, by the way, I love it. It's really easy to move her. Um, yeah, and she's quiet the minute we get her in there and move in. So, so far I learned if we get her outside, she usually stops crying. What did you say? I love parenting with you. That's pre-approved <laughs> content from my wife. <laughs> say what you want to say, Jeff. I now know the joy only a child can bring. This kind of, this message has been approved by my wife. The baby was crying like full on after I turned off the camera, like really hard. And Jeff was like, turn on the camera, turn on the camera. And I was like, I don't want to because then you're gonna talk about how you don't like parenting and everyone's gonna be concerned. And so now Jeff is playing the role of, I love parenting. I didn't know love until now. This message has been approved by my wife. She's sleeping now and all is well. 
this is hard. It is hard on me, Jeff. Hi, you too. Look both ways before you cross the street. Just wanted to express privately between us how much I love parenting. And how I'd sacrifice sleep, personal enjoyment, physical and mental health any day. The joy that only a child brings. Look at this parenting B-roll. I love parenting. Guys, Lisa's really nervous that you're gonna call the CPA on her. So just realize that if you call a CPA on this woman. They'll be like, you did your taxes so poorly this year. Try again. Oh, uh, we're off-roading, we're off-roading, off-roading, off-roading. Allow me to take this opportunity just to clarify and summarize. I'm a great father. I love parenting and I love fathering. Fa fathering. I've lost the ability to speak from sleeplessness and I love fathering. Give him some more of that parenting B-roll. Um, B-roll is natural, like acting natural, not acting like you've never acted before. Overacting, some would say. Why are you swinging your arms so dramatically while you walk? This feels natural. Why are you pimp walking down the street? You have a child. I know, I'm not even wearing a shirt. I'm really doing great. But I'm out walking, which is a huge improvement from a week ago. Look at you. Ain't nothing gonna keep you down. Um, heart failure. Heart More like heart excellence. More like hard on. How do you feel about parenting? Bernie's thriving in this role. Oh. How do you feel? <laughs> that was amazing. Whew, okay, finally got the baby down for a nap. Let's see, it's 12.30. She was supposed to go down for a nap at 10.30. I'm eating a dry rice cake because I'm still on a low sodium diet, um, which is lame and boring, and this is my life. <laughs> I'm exhausted, and um, it's not even lunchtime yet, so cool, cool, cool. Doing great, guys. Doing great. We've come to learn that Annie has a sensitivity to milk, so we're playing around with different hypoallergenic formulas. If you've been following that journey, it is a to-do. Um, and also she has reflux, so we're trying to figure out uh, best practices for that. So that's why she's crying so much. Uh, but now she's apparently entering into the category of maybe colic, which... is almost as exciting as this dry rice cake. Okay, gosh. This is what we do in between <laughs> while the baby sleeps. I'm gonna barf. Oh. Oh. Now who loves parenting? <laughs> I feel like as this goes on, I just get crazier looking. Um, all right, we are nearing the five o'clock hour. Uh, Grandpa, my dad, came to visit, and she was so good for him. After us being like, she's like colicky and she's having trouble, like we're so tired, and of course she's like perfect for him. And the minute he she leaves or he leaves, she's like, <laughs> she's got great comedic timing. Um, and so finally, I got her down, so she's hopefully at least getting like a good hour of sleep. Grandma's on her way, my mom, um, and then we'll do another feeding. And then we'll try to get her down again. And the circle goes around and around and around. Newborn life. Am I right? I will say, I'm feeling more empowered. I feel like the last time I vlogged, I was feeling a little insecure about mom life. I felt like I didn't really have a handle on all these things. And I feel like every day I'm getting a little bit better at it, a little bit more confident. And I'm definitely getting more healthy. Oh my God, that reminds me, I forgot to take my medicine. Thank you guys. I'm supposed to take one pill during the middle of the day. Um, and that's the Lasix, the thing that like makes you pee a lot. So they tell you to take it during the middle of the day so you're not like up at night peeing. Here we are. But yeah, I'm feeling uh, a lot more confident and a lot um, less anxious about my health. I think a lot of it at this point is just like, I just don't have time. Like I was obsessively checking my blood pressure uh, up until a couple of days ago and now I'm just like, all right, I'm fine. Like. If I fall over, then we know that there is a problem. So that's where we're at right now. That change came on pretty fast. But like I said, I'll go to the doctor on Thursday and I think that will give me hopefully 
a lot more confidence. We'll see, one hour at a time. Okay, 7.23 folks, and she is miraculously down. We did the six o'clock feed and she like passed out. I think cause she hasn't slept all day. Um, and so I was supposed to give her a bath. My mom came over to help give her a bath, um, but she fell asleep like right after the feed. And I was like, we are taking this opportunity. We will have the stinky kid. She needs to sleep. So she, I'm watching the monitor. She is like down. It seems too good to be true. We don't have to get her back up until 10. Our doctor said we can go four hours between feeds because she's um, gained enough weight and she's eating really well despite all her little tummy upsets. So if she can make it till 10, Jeff and I can actually have dinner together and watch a TV show together. It's like an actual miracle. Seems too good to be true. I'll report back shortly, but in the meantime, I'm gonna actually make some dinner right now. I'm still, like I mentioned, on this low sodium diet and it's so boring. Some of you are gonna make some great suggestions for seasonings to use. I am a salt fiend, so this has definitely been um, really hard, um, but please continue to give me seasoning ideas if there's anything that you like. Um, there's something called my salt, which is like a fake salt. Um, has anyone tried that before? Is it any good? The reviews are just so-so, but at this point I'm like willing to try because everything I'm eating is just plain. Right now I'm just grilling up some asparagus. I'll throw some garlic in there and then I'm gonna make some eggs and rice. Is that gross? She's basic, guys. I actually don't know how to cook, so I just put ingredients in a bowl and call it a day. Okay, update guys, it's eight o'clock and she is still asleep. I repeat, she is still asleep. Jeff and I have both eaten dinner. Um, she is, uh, she is like tousled and turned a little bit, but this is a miracle. Do you think she's gonna make it, Jeff? Sure <laughs> Fingers crossed. Literally, as I'm saying this, I feel like she's moving. But we're doing great. We're watching Mr. Robot. Um, I had never seen Mr. Robot, and we've been watching season two for what feels like three months. <laughs> we like it slowly crack through it, um, but enjoying it very much. So, fingers crossed. I'll keep you guys updated. It's nine o'clock. She's still sleeping. Corny thoughts, feelings. Are you thrilled? We even get to watch a second episode of Mr. Robot. Who are we, Corny? It feels too too good to be true. Yeah. <laughs> Music and dancing. It's a party of poop, pee, and work. Any minute. Look at Corny. <laughs> Corny is broken by all the crying. She doesn't know what sounds are good and what sounds Aww. are good. Okay, Jeff has been getting me um, snacks that are like low sodium snacks. And he got me this uh, cookie, Maxine's Heavenly. Sorry to throw them under the bus. I, I feel like I've eaten this brand before. Um, but this literally tastes like vomit to me and I don't know if it's me or if it, I need you to come do a taste test. I usually like love this kind of stuff, like any sort of nut oat thing. Let me get a bite of that vomit cookie. I've never had anything taste like so deeply vomity. Tastes like the pellets at a petting zoo. Ugh. Oh, aftertaste, vomit aftertaste. You think it has a vomit aftertaste? Aftertaste is gross. I'm about vomit. That's gross. Wow. Oh yeah, vomit again. Yeah, this really is bad. Oh bummer. Oh vomit. At the end, it had a little. Vomit. Do you know what I'm talking about? Also, remember how earlier I was like, yeah, I don't. Um, sorry, Jeff is making his my his nightly my time. Um, you know how I was before? I was like, oh, I don't even have time to really worry about how I'm feeling. Well, now that Annie is having a really good sleep sesh, I have plenty of time to think that my heart's stopping and that I can't breathe again. So it's good to know. Uh, I'm not completely through my medical anxiety, um, but you know, I'm still breathing. Just checked my oxygen. Everything's okay, guys. We're doing great. Doing great. My God. Parenting is a 24 hour job. No off days, no vacations. You gotta be ready. You gotta be awake. You gotta be aware for any crisis that emerges. 
baby doesn't take any time off, parents can't take any time off. So that's why I'm ready to go. That's why I'm number one dad. Nothing phases me. Day or night, I'm on it. Clean a diet, feed some milk, I can do it. Mom, she's up. She's non-stop. She's full of energy, ready to raise a kid, ready to tackle any dilemmas. That's how we parent in this house. So you guys, I got it. I'm setting the goals here. I'm setting the bar for non-stop parenting. Here for the kid, love parenting. And mom, she is here. She's ready for the nighttime. Let's go parenting for the rest of our lives. I'm so tired. Well, folks, it seems that Annie girl made it all the way to her next feed. I feel like this was a very successful end to this vlog. Cheers. And now begins the night, which uh, we won't take you on that. I've actually seen like, there's plenty of videos on YouTube of like, um, spend the night with me and a newborn and it's horrifying. I can't watch them. Before any of you ask a question about how I do it, that's how. Oh, not sponsored, but. Not sponsored, we'll take a sponsorship. should be, yeah. I don't stop. 24 hour parenting. Um, anyways guys, I don't know how this vlog turned out, but this is how our day turned out. Final mm. thoughts, Corn? Mm. Go see Seagull go Peepees. Another day down. Actually, it feels like the day's just beginning because it goes into the nighttime routine. That makes sense in 10 minutes. Just go to bed. I haven't? No. Okay. I'm tired. Just go to bed. But I survived another day. Love you guys. See you next time.